All right, so Ian T. E. Wise recommended me. What do I think about Wes Watson? I, I watched him when uh, Life Is Overrated recommended me this this guy, and I think this dude's too much toxic positivity. To be honest with you, he acts like he's hard and he's from prison and, and stuff, and he thinks that anxiety and depression is just laziness when it really isn't. Like, he's got that prison mentality. Like, once you're in prison, you can't... You gotta overcome these things. Because you're surrounded by people that want to kill you. Or whatever it is. But... Like, we're not in prison here. This dude thinks that it's laziness. And it's false. I really don't believe... Like, there's a thing called laziness. People just don't want to do things that they don't want to do, and they never asked for it. And people that are depressed, that are considered lazy, is is unbelievable. Like, people just don't want to take the time to help somebody dealing with depression or anxiety or whatever it is. Because no wonder people kill themselves. They're suicides every day. And it keeps on growing. It's because of people like that guy saying that they're lazy. And they're just selfish. And they're just pieces of shit. When really they need help. And they need someone to talk to about this stuff. And it gets boggled in their head. And, and it gets to the point where... You get these symptoms of depression and anxiety. Like, start with anxiety. Like, you get heart palpitations and you sweat a lot. And especially when I get, when I had really bad anxiety, I sweat on my armpits and I used to stink in school because I was bullied a lot in school and I was so socially anxious. It was unbelievable. Um, and you get like, these intrusive thoughts, like racing thoughts, like OCD. Um, it's unbelievable. Feel like you're about to die and stuff. It's not just being lazy. It's people want to get rid of this stuff. No one wants to like be lazy about it. There's people out there that want to get help. They want to talk to people about this thing, these things, and they want someone to support to support them to um, like uh, what to, they just they want someone to support them and going through hard times and someone that actually cares to listen to them, and he says like saying these things to other people is just being entitled it's selfish no it's not and that's that's another thing that's false like everybody should be open about these things everyone should be open about mental illness because it's bad and it's suffering and no one has to fucking have these things it's good to open up about them because it helps like understanding of this mental health crisis people can understand better listening to other people and there's people that have strengths in certain things like say they don't have that much anxiety and they give them good advice right like it's just that's all it is and it's not selfish when you have a conversation and say they they, they want to ask for help too like it's it's you're conversing. You're you're not lazy. Like if I I consider that not lazy because you're you're trying to find a way to get rid of it. And talking to someone is is not lazy. You're you're doing a lot of action doing that. So what? what I don't get what the fuck this guy is talking about. Say the only thing I do agree with him about is probably, probably his prison stuff. Like he probably knows his shit because he's been in there, like from his anecdotal 
like experience or one thing for sure is standing up for yourself and that's something I have struggled with I think that's what he said there was um, I agree with everyone should stand up for themselves <laughs> but most everything else about his videos is toxic positivity stuff and thinks that you need to hustle more and need to like stop being a wimp like that's pretty much what he's saying and he's putting people down he's not really like helping people some people think there's a lot of people in the comment section in his videos think he is because he's a hard ass and he's they say he's a tough guy and all these things yeah he probably is a tough guy but he's putting those people down like that, that kind of puts me down I have bipolar disorder and I do things that try to help it and I still struggle it's fucked up and same with depression and anxiety that people like uh struggle with it's it's all toxic positivity and it's all it's just another way to make someone feel like shit and put people down and feel like you're hopeless because you're afraid to open up to somebody about your problems and that's a terrible way to like solve this fucking shit with his philosophy of fucking mental illness dude it's terrible like people need to open up about these things like i said this so many times because you don't want to keep it stuck in your head and have your depression symptoms be worse or anxiety and a lot of times it can be so bad that depression can turn to anger because anger is a, a disguise to being upset and sad and depressed and people develop a lot of anger and it's it's not a good way people need to like open up about themselves and sometimes it's a struggle to do that because a lot of people are judgmental and i agree with that people need to be not as judgmental in this world people need to open up about these things and Stop putting people down, calling them lazy. Like, it's that fucking simple, this fucking guy. This guy just is a pri is just a dude from prison that got out and he's making money. I don't have a problem with that. I'm not jealous of the dude. Like, it's good he's making money, he's making videos. Cause there's probably videos I do agree with. I'm not totally despising this guy. But he's just putting people down with mental illness, and I don't like that. It's, it's terrible, and he's... A lot of things are toxic. He's too, he's too, like, like the positivity and optimism in this guy is to the point where it's not even a good thing. So, catch you guys with another one.